Hey, Tom, what up? Look, Kiki the Dunn, I'm officially taking over the vibe. It's a pleasure. It's an honor to be amongst the greats, to get an opportunity to, you know, take over radio station, let y'all see what I've been doing over the past year. I've had a new freestyle project. I had a new project with me and Paul Wall called Slab Talk. I also had my album, Self Made 3. I also done some big features this year. So I just want to catch y'all up with what I'm doing. We're going to start off with some slab music, getting ready for spring. Look, Kiki taking over the vibe. Here it is, Riding Fire featuring Paul Wall. Let's go. Hey, you know what it is. That's a great summertime vibe all the way from last summer to this summer. Now, this next one is also from, from the album Riding Slab, well, Slab Talk. Man, it was just a great album that me and Paul Wall put together. We was trying to do it for the culture, really bring the light to what the slab is really about, the the coming down, the culture, the talk. So, man, this album, now we did it in the pandemic, and it still was able to be a great project. It was able to reach the masses, and this is what we're, this is one of the songs we're going to bring back this summer because we didn't get to shoot all the videos. So, left, right, man, tell me what y'all think. Hey, pandemic or not, it was a great year of music for me. Man, I had a great time putting these projects together. I got to get more in depth with myself with doing my music because right as I got into Self Made 3, I was able to just kind of stay at home, kind of vibe with myself. I was in my own boundaries of doing music. And I wanted to make sure Self Made 3 was much, much different than the Freestyle album, much, much different than Slab Talk. It's kind of the more street kiki. It's the more legend talk kiki. It's the more giving game kiki. Self Made became a big project. And the first single on that was featuring DJ Chose, my little brother, one of the hottest in the city. So let me jump into Self Made 3. Let y'all come in and see how we're doing on this here. Self Made 3, first singer. It's been now, done that, featuring DJ Chose. Self Made 3 streaming big on all platforms right now. The actual release date was um, November the 20th. For the last two months, it's been doing, I'm talking about amazing. It's one of my best projects to date. Like I say, um, been now, done that, featuring DJ Chose. We started off with that. And then I came right into my second single, which was Live By. We just finished the video. Also, the Been Now Done That video is up. So, Live By is just more of a testament of the old Kiki man uh, mixed with the new Kiki, me really getting to do what I do. And what I like about Self Made and the platform that I have now, man, from an artist standpoint, you get to control your own platform, which is mine is D-O-N-K-E-713 on everything, Instagram, Facebook, whatever you want to find me on Twitter. But I like controlling my own platform, dropping my singles when I want to drop them, doing what I want to do. And that's what the pandemic gave up me an opportunity to do so I tell all artists take control of your platform when you wasn't able to get this great opportunity like being on the vibe today or being on radio stations you had to control from your platform so live by was one of my singles that came out in that mode check me out right now live by from my album self made three let's go ace town legend look kiki the dun 713 the king and right now I'm still taking over the vibe you know how we do check this out on Self Made, people ask me, what is Self Made about? What is that project? Actually, Self Made 3 was the last of that series. I love to do series. And um, the Self Made project was about independent artists hooking up with the OGs, the young ones, hooking up and just, you know, showing that your work ethic, your vibe, what it takes to be an independent artist and do great music. Self Made 2 was a real big hit for me. I, I brought out artists like DJ, um, like EXO. I had um, Cal Wayne, Bloodbath, Hot Boy Skeeters, um, DJ Chose, but then I also mixed them with Big Crit, Bun B. And I did the same on this album. But I done on this particular Self Made 3, though, I highlighted video guys, gave them opportunities, new younger artists and new producers. The producer of Self Made, um, the producer of Live By, which you just got through him by, his name is Tim Ned. I appreciate him, and I gave him another opportunity on the album, which is this song I'm about to let to hear. That's why it's clean, because we're going to shoot a video to it. It's going to be a vintage video, and y'all going to love it. It's called Autopilot. Let's go. Hey, check this out. Um, Like I said, thank y'all for letting me continue to, um, you know, just be able to express my platform on any type. Man, listen, as an artist, you got to take advantage of anything, any type of opportunity that you get to promote your projects, promote your songs, promote your music. So having me here today to take over the vibe, I appreciate y'all so much. With that being said, man, like we did a lot of work this year coming into 2020. And, you know, it, it was a big year. It was the anniversary of Screw's death. We was able to um, 
get into the project, the screw tribute that all of y'all saw. It was very controversial. A lot of people was looking for a movie. A lot of people was knowing it was documentary form. I think it was great for the culture. It gave Screw an opportunity to get where he's going with the movie that's now picked up by Sony and it's on the way. And like I say, man, it was for the family. It, it was a great thing to me because it was for Screw. It wasn't for nobody else. So I don't know why anybody was mad or anybody was upset at the opportunity that Screw got to put his life on the platform. And like I say, man, um, doing these self-made projects, I was able to open up to a lot of young artists and reach out and let them even see the history of my game. And with them seeing that Screw tribute, they was able to see the history of my game, where it came from as a young cat, all the way to where I'm at now. So another thing that I did during my self-made run was, before I just started signing artists and doing stuff like that, I started using my management company to give artists opportunities to show them how to run their companies, how to drop songs, how to last 20 years, how to... Um, take advantage of these opportunities. Sometimes people just need a helping hand. I didn't have a little Kiki to reach back to say, um, hey man, I'm gonna show you the ropes. I'm, I'm, I'm gonna show you how to put a song out, how to show it up, or open up a YouTube, do these different things. Everybody that wanted me when I was young, they wanted to take everything. You know what I'm saying? So this next guy that I'm coming up, he actually done a song dedicated to Screw called um, Bring Screw Back. And it was a great time for it to drop, being that it was coming out during the tribute. His name is Big Catchy. He's um he's running some plays through my management company, Self Made Management. Like I say, I'm giving him an opportunity to get his own platform going and using my platform to help other. Self Made Three, Self Made. You know this is how we do it over here. Seven Thirteen. This is my guy, Big Catch. It's called Bringing DJ Screw Back. Hey man, um, this last song I want to introduce was um a very a good blessing to me because I love this brother. I love his vibe. I love his flavor. I love his I love his work ethic. I love his everything. Everything that's different about him, I love it because how much he love and how much he put into it. And that's Toby. So when he offered me this opportunity to um to do this song, this purple rain, I had to tap into his his culture. And what I mean by that is I had to put the suits on and everything. That ain't what I was planning to do. You know what I'm saying? I, like I was real I was real street hard on not doing it, and I'm glad that I got it done. And, man, listen, he tested me. Like, because when he sent me the song to do, I kind of came on there kind of, you know, my intellectual kiki. And he was like, man, that sound real good, man. I love it. But he sent me a version of the kiki that he wanted, and it was something from my gangster grill. He was like, I want this. I was like, oh, you want that? Oh, you shouldn't have asked me for that. I'm going to give you that. And that's what you got, and this is one of my ver best verses of the year, man. It was one of my most, um, you know, it was different. It was different for me to do it, but I was still, a I would love how he asked me to be different, and at the same time, he let me be me. So this is a classic. Y'all go stream his new album. It's going crazy, and I love the single that we done. This is called Purple Rain, Toby featuring Lil' Kiki the Dunn, taking over the vibe, holla. Hey, this is going to be one of the most important black histories of all time. And um, I seen something with DJ Aggravated yesterday online. I think that's going to be one of the, I'm tuned in to this challenge. This is a great challenge. And I think we ought to all try to get tapped into it for, um, for 2021 Black History Month. And the challenge was finding out information about black people, black history. That's not the common, not what we read in the books and what they told us, you know, like different inventors and different things. I don't care if you bring up black history about something in the city, about music or something that happened, man. Look, Kiki, man, he won sold 50,000. It don't have to be me. I was just making a point of <laughs> that is I do got a couple of black histories for you. But, <laughs> but at the end of the day, nah, that's a great challenge, I think, because I think we need to become more aware and teaching our youth and our children about more people that they heard about just the people who made peanut butter and and, and and Barack Obama was the first black president. We all know that. What about some of these inventors, some of these people who worked, some of these people who had the sweat and guts and tears on their back, man, and on their faces in order to get some of this done? So let's make this an important Black History Month by bringing to light some of our, you know, some of our first black CEOs, some of our first black bankers, some of our first black people in radio, some of our first black billionaires, Oprah, Jay-Z, whatever it is. And, and highlight some because we got a lot of more, a lot more to bring to the table than just what the people want us to know about the certain people. Um, Harriet Tubman and all that. We, we, we brought more to the culture than that. 
February 2021, Black History Month. Let's go. Hey, thank y'all for tuning in to the vibe. I appreciate the takeover. Like I say, man, this is to our independent artists, artists, period. Get your platforms up. Get your work ethic up. The game is crowded. Keep going hard. The culture is for us, man. And um, don't give up on it. And tune into everything. Make sure you tap into stuff like your internet radios, your vibes, and all that. That's where it started. It starts in the streets and starts from the bottom. We got to get that work ethic back that we had going against the grind and, and, and going to get the grind like we used to. So thanks to The Vibe for having me here today. Don Key 713 them all my platforms, Facebook, Selfmade 713 You can reach us and uh, hey, check out selfmade713.com. That's my um, that's my for you can get my merchandise. You can get everything. That's selfmade with I to E. S L F M A D E 713.com. We got the Legend Talk. Y'all get ready for my show coming, the Legend Talk Bar and Grill show. It's on the way coming. Shout out to Big Catcher for coming in today. His new single lot, um, If Screw Could Come Back. Uh, bring DJ Screw back. And um, just shout out to all our GP45, all the younger artists in the city who doing their thing. Self-Made 713, we on the way. 2021, let's get it.